Setting up a project with the view command line interface is really, really simple. I'm going to walk you through that now and the options that you want to include. So if you don't have this installed already, of course, the first thing to do is go ahead and globally install this with either NPM or Yarn. I happen to be using NPM. The really important thing is you make sure that you keep this up to date or when you do create a project with the CLI, it, the template may be out of date. So I've run into this problem before. So make sure you go ahead and run this just to make sure you've got the most up to date version of the view CLI. OK, so we don't want instant prototyping. That is a great feature, but we want to create a project instead. So we're going to use this really, really simple command to create out a project. So I'm going to come out of the API directory and I'm going to create a project in here. I'm literally just going to call this client that will go ahead and uh, boot up the CLI and it will give us a couple of options that we want to choose from. Now, we don't want to use the default features. Instead, what we want to do is manually select features and we want the router. We want Vuex and potentially you might want CSS preprocessors. I'm not going to be using these here because we're just going to keep in this uh, style free, uh, but feel free to add that if you want to. So the two things that we need for this course are routing so we can have different pages and Vuex so we have somewhere to store our authenticated user. And if you want to carry on learning Vuex, uh, we have a load of courses on that as well. So let's go ahead and hit enter on this. We do want to use history mode for router. So let's go ahead and select that. That just means that we don't have any hash uh, bangs at the end of our URLs. Uh, for linting, we don't really care too much. We can just go ahead and use the standard one. Uh, we can do lint on save or lint and fix on commit. I'm going to do lint on save just to make sure that our code is nice and tidy as we are saving it. And we just want to place the uh, config and dedicated config files. Now you can save this as a preset for future projects, but I'm going to choose not to in this case. And all we're waiting for now is for everything to start installing and we can go ahead and boot up our client. OK, now that's all done. All we need to do is, as per the instructions here, CD into the client directory and run npm run serve and that will boot up a fresh uh, project for us or the project that we've just installed or created. So let's go over to the uh, local URL here and you can see we now have a Vue.js app set up and ready to go. Now as part of this I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying so let's come over to the text editor open up the client here and let's just get rid of what we don't need. So we've got lots of style scaffolding in here I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of that. I'm also going to get rid of this navigation here which gives us an example of how to use Vue router so I'm going to get rid of that too. Uh, we can keep the ID in there, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, and let's come over to the Hello World component and delete this. So let's move that to the trash. And we can delete the logo asset as well, just keep things nice and tidy. And we are going to come over to our views and we're going to delete our about page. And we're going to come over to home and we're going to get rid of this Hello World component because we've just deleted that. And we'll get rid of that from there as well. And we'll also get rid of the reference for that component and the reference for that image as well and get rid of the class name here. So that is our home page. We still have a couple of errors here because in our router, uh, this is pulling in the about page. We can get rid of that too. And we can also get rid of, no, no I think that's about it. So let's come over to the browser and sure enough, we just have a home page in there. So that is our view client set up and ready to go. And we can use this to communicate with our API. But the next thing I want to do is just look at some page and component scaffolding. So we're going to create all of the pages that we need so we can just start to dive in, authenticate the user, show their information in the navigation and also sign them out as well. So let's go over and look at a little bit of scaffolding, create some new pages and we can move on with actually authenticating.